The movie begins as two scientists are inside a secret lab. The older scientist tells the younger, Mr. Kemp, to dump a ton load of formaldehyde into the sink. Mr. Kemp points out regulations and the fact that the chemicals will run into the Han River, but the older doctor says to hell with regulations and orders him to get started. Mr. Kemp then dumps bottles of formaldehyde, possibly shortening his life subscription in the process. At the nearby Han River, two fishermen are relaxing when one spots something in the water. He scoops it and shows it to his friend and notices that it looks like a mutated fish. They drop it in the water, amazed by the amount of tails it has. On a nearby pier, a depressed businessman is trying to meet his maker when he sees something big and dark in the water. His friends who were running to help him turn and call him an idiot, so he just jumps into the river to end it. We then meet Gangdu, trying to run a business but always falling asleep and is quite a slacker. He has a daughter Hyun, who is quite fed up with him but loves him just the same. After school one day, they see on the news about bodies being pulled from the Han River. They switch to the sports channel where they watch Gangdu's sister Namju, who is an archery champion, taking part in a match. Gangdu gives Hyun a sip of beer, telling her she is old enough. The family run a riverside cook shop and he goes to hand some customers beer and food. In the distance, the crowd see a strange animal under the bridge that slips into the water. Gangdu throws a beer into the river and something grabs it to everyone's amazement. The crowd is distracted when a large creature comes on shore and starts chasing the people, grabbing and eating them. Gangdu and an American try to fight back against the creature, but the Yankee ends up getting eaten. In the trailer, Namju has lost her match to the disappointment of Hyun, who steps outside to clear her head not noticing the people. Gangdu grabs her, but is shocked to see that he grabbed the wrong girl. Behind him, the creature grabs Hyun with its tail and dives into the river. Gangdu tries going after her, but has to watch as his daughter is taken away. Later, the military clear out all the people in the city, sending them to secure its shelters. Namju is returned from her competition and breaks down looking at a picture of Hyun. Their brother, Nam Il, drunkenly comes over to the family and they all break down wailing while the media gets pics for the gram. Nam Il is mad at Gangdu and drop kicks him, so people have to drag them away. Grandpa tells them that they must get revenge for Hyun, saying it's their duty to kill any creature who kills a human when a man wearing a hazmat suit stumbles in. He asks for anyone who was at the scene to step forward. People demand an explanation from him, but he has no clue and tells them to watch the news. Other men wearing hazmat suits come in and begin disinfecting the room. They begin ushering everyone to transport buses when Gangdu reveals that the creature's blood got on his face, so the men grab him, stuff him into a bag, and drag him away. On the transport bus, it is revealed that the Yankee that helped Gangdu earlier is a U.S. Army sergeant named Donald who did not die, but lost an arm. He is infected with a deadly virus which originated from the unknown creature, causing the entire city to go into lockdown and teams of men disinfecting the streets. The family is brought to a medical center and told they are not able to return home. Gangdu is told that he should not eat anything because he has tests in the morning, but he sneaks and eats some gross-looking food. He gets a phone call and hears Hyun on the other line, yelling that she is in the sewers. Two men in suits are driving when one spots some money next to the river. His greed causes them to be attacked and taken by the large creature to its underground lair. The men are dropped into its feeding pit and we see that Hyun has managed to survive inside a hole in the wall, hiding from the creature. Gangdu tries telling one of the officers that his daughter is alive, explaining the call he got, but the officer thinks he just had a dream or is crazy. Seeing that they will not get any help, the family try sneaking out but end up being chased by the medical staff. They change their clothes inside an elevator and head down to the parking lot chased by the staff, but manage to hitch a ride with a van, almost leaving Namju behind. Grandpa then spends his remaining cash to bargain with some thugs, who even take his credit cards. He gets a crappy disinfecting van, guns, two suits, and a map of the sewer system, but his kids are all ungrateful about it. They come upon a military checkpoint guarding the river. A guard almost figures them out, but Grandpa manages to bribe his way through, using Gangdu's savings. They get to the Han River and scour the entire sewer underground, determined to find Hyun. The sewers are huge and the family starts getting irritated until Grandpa hears something. Nearby, a boy and his little brother sneak past the family heading out to the banks of the Han River. 
They raid Grandpa's cook shop for food and are heading back when the massive monster appears and begins chasing them. Gangdu and the family return to the shop to rest for the night. They prepare dinner and they all imagine Hyun there eating with them. Underground, Hyun hears the monster approaching and plays dead, hearing the beast drop off the two boys. Hyun helps the little boy and almost gets caught by the monster, but it leaves once more. Hyun then realizes that the older boy has passed away. The family is preparing to go out when Namil and Namju again scold Gangdu for losing Hyun. Grandpa scolds them for being mean to their brother. Gangdu then spots the monster out in the rain, and Grandpa plans to shoot it. He misses the shot, causing the monster to flip the shop. Grandpa is able to shoot the thing, which collapses. Namil tries to finish it off, but the monster runs away, climbing the bridge overhead and swinging along its beams as the family tries to shoot it down. Namil and Grandpa are out of bullets, but Grandpa is determined to kill the monster, taking Gangdu's gun that he says only has one shot. Gangdu tries calling for him, but Grandpa is determined to make it to Valhalla and sends them away. Namju decides to fight too, until Namil yoinks her away. The monster corners Grandpa, but it turns out the gun was empty and he gets smashed against the ground hard. They have no time to grieve as the military has spotted them and gives chase. Gangdu cannot bring himself to leave his father and he is taken. We hear on the news that the military has developed a biological agent to fight against the viral outbreak ravaging the city. We then see Namil, who is now wanted, meeting secretly with an old friend who is able to trace Hyun's last call's location. His friend asks about Namju and learns that she got separated from Namil, and we learn he is secretly planning to grab Namil with a group of people for reward money. Namil is able to figure out Hyun's location before the group of men run out to grab him. He is able to evade the men and jump from a bridge. Before he passes out from the fall, he texts Hyun's location to Namju. She rushes to the location calling Gangdu on her way. She sees the creature and pulls her bow and arrow, but gets knocked out. Gangdu is on the line with her when it goes dead. He is surrounded by men in suits who hold him down to sedate him before painfully extracting tissue samples from him. An American doctor along with his assistant comes by to check on Gangdu who is hysterical about his daughter. The doctor then claims that Gangdu's brain has been infected by the virus. He reveals to his assistant in private that the government has no evidence of a virus but still pushes the narrative. Gangdu overhears them, so the doctors strap him down and prepare to drill into his brain for no reason. Hyun and the boy, Seiju, are in the pit, talking about what they would like to eat when they get out. Hyun had taken the clothes of the people there, using them to create a makeshift grapple. The creature returns, vomiting up a ton load of human bones before taking its next meal. Hyun and Seiju try to hide from the beast, but it sniffs them out and attacks. We then see that Gangdu has undergone the operation, looking brain dead at this point. Not quite, he takes one of the nurses hostage, threatening to infect them all with his blood. He steps out to find himself surrounded by the U.S. Army, but manages to steal an ambulance. Namael wakes up underneath the bridge with a homeless man next to him. He wants to get to Hyun's location, and the homeless man accompanies him under promise of payment. The two prepare Molotov cocktails inside a cab on their way. Hyun and Seiju wake up inside the hole having survived the attack. Outside, the large monster seems to be in a deep sleep as it does not respond to Hyun throwing a can at it. Hyun decides to leave and get help, telling Seiju to stay put. She launches herself off the back of the sleeping creature, but on reflex, it grabs her using its tail and sets her down. Hyun runs and the monster wakes and chases her. Gangdu, who had made his way to the location, stumbles upon the pit with the human bones. He climbs down and calls for his daughter when he sees the monster pass overhead with Hyun in its mouth. At the same time, Namju recovers from her fall to see the monster run by her, and she and Gangdu give chase. The monster runs out to the river where a large crowd of people have gathered on the other bank, protesting the virus conspiracy. At the moment, Namil, Namju, and Gangdu are chasing after the monster, who is swimming toward the large group of people. The people flee, and the military deploys a vaccine bomb which knocks the creature unconscious. Gangdu runs to the monster, reaching inside its stomach and pulling out Hyun who was clutching Seiju. Gangdu picks up his daughter as the military finishes off the creature, but causing everyone around to fall ill. The siblings cry over Hyun who we assume has passed away. 
Gangdu attacks the creature out of anger, and Namil follows up with Molotov cocktails. The homeless man is able to get above the creature and cover it in gasoline, so Namju uses her archery skills to set the creature ablaze. As it tries to escape, Gangdu stabs it down the throat with a metal pipe, ending it for good. Gangdu then goes over to Seiju and wakes him, asking if he knew Hyun. Later, we see that Gangdu has adopted Seiju. On the news, the government labels the virus scare as misinformation. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.